guys welcome back to my channel for another video another video yes guys welcome if you're new welcome if you're old welcome back guys you're definitely my goodie been watching me for a long time goodie goodie you're definitely my goodie okay so welcome back to my channel for another video if you are new however i would love it if you could hit the subscribe button so you could be a good good okay you could be a goodie so hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell beside it so you'll be notified when i upload video like these and more videos and more quality content because that's all i do so guys in today's video i'm going to share with you how um i'm gonna like do an experiment i know that green tea rinse is very good for um hair loss and hair shedding so i've been experiencing a little shedding these days these past few days i've been experiencing a little shedding and i kind of know why i um, my hair was shedding like that or it is shedding like that so i decided i'm going to try the green tea rinse with some rice water because they claimed that rice water is also good for shedding and i saw that rice water also helped with my shedding when in before when i had some shedding going on i use the green tea rinse by itself however and then i use the rice water by itself so today i'm going to try to do another experiment and i'm going to use both of them together so i have some rice water here and some green tea rinse and i'm going to show you guys how i made the green tea rinse and just show you guys um the entire process I have a video of showing you guys how I make rice water. I will link it up above or in the description box down below so you guys can click or check out that video how I make the rice water because I have so many videos how I make rice water but in this video I'm going to show you how I add the rice water and the green tea rinse together to come up with this one combo hoping that it's going to like stop my shedding or reduce my shedding i'm going to insert some clips of how my hair was shedding before and is shedding so um yeah i decided to do this hair rinse because guys you know that green tea rinse it helps to reduce shedding and i stress this a lot that if you're having shedding problems you should try the green tea rinse okay try green tea rinse or you can try coffee rinse but the green tea rinse works best for me so that is why i always use the green tea rinse if i'm having some shedding i don't really um panic because i know that i can also always run towards the green tea rinse and it will work if it don't work then it's something bigger than that like something like probably my body is not reacting towards something or you know i am lacking some kind of iron because iron make it let your hair shed a lot if you if you have low iron your hair is gonna shed out okay so make sure that your iron content is good if you realize that you're using this one it's not working for you so make sure that your iron content is good go to the doctor do a blood test and then they will check for iron in your blood and see if your if you need more iron so you need to like do some iron intake and then your hair will stop shedding but for me i i'm gonna try this one and see if it will stop my hair from shedding if not i'm gonna have to go to the next step and see if it's in my iron if i have like a low iron content in my blood so uh we're gonna do this here ma not here ma we're gonna do this rinse and hope it works out for us okay my hair is um wet because i just did a hair mask repair and restore hair mask and um now i'm gonna add this rinse to my hair and follow up continue with my wash day wash day can be long if you have like repairing problems and like you have shedding problems you need to pay attention to your hair and pay attention to everything that is going on with your body because if you don't pay attention to that then you're going to regret it you're going to like be losing here so spend as much time as you can on your wash day do your deep treatment sit down for an hour with the deep treatments do what you need to do to make your hair on point so this is why i decided i'm going to do the green tea rinse on my hair to see if it's going to stop the shedding so let's get it let's get this shedding to the minimum okay let's get it to the minimum because 
this shedding been letting me feel like I'm getting mad these days. So I don't like when my hair shed. So doing the green tea rinse, then I'm going to do my next video. I'm going to do a trim. Okay. So trim is very important. And I feel like I have a lot of single strand that's what I need to get rid of. So guys, let's get into the shower and just pour this rinse on my scalp. I'm going to focus mostly on my scalp with this rinse. And I'm going to pour it in my bottle here because i want to focus on my scalp so i'm not going to use a three th the 360 mister um, bottle i'm going to use this one because i'm going to focus on my scalp with this because that's where the shedding is coming from so let's get it let's get it let's go into the shower and um see how we can get this on our hair okay so let's go so guys what i'm basically doing i'm spraying it onto my scalp because you know that's where it's should spray i'm not focusing on my hair i'm just focusing on my scalp because my hair is not breaking it's shedding and i want to try to get all of that um green tea rinse slash with some rice water on it i'm trying to get all of it on my scalp so that it can black the dht that is going on so as you know the green tea is a good dht blocker so and um i'm trying to my best to like get it all over my hair however i was holding it too close in my hair and sometimes my hair will like get into the nozzle part of the sprayer and um I feel like it was gonna break my hair off so if you have one of these spray don't use it like how I'm using it try to stay far away from your hair with it probably like do your hair in a section before you add um, the rinse on it I think that would be a better way to do it or a safer way to prevent breakage on your hair so anyway I'm trying my best to like get it all over as you can see and spread it on it and guys you know i mentioned so many times that whenever i have breakage i always like to use the green tea rings because the green tea rings always help me so i don't really panic when i when i when my hair is breaking or shedding because i use the green tea rings to basically get my hair back the way it was so because i finished spray it onto my scalp i said i was gonna just pour the entire what I have left on this on my scalp so I'm trying my best to like get it on my scalp before it run down because you know it's gonna run down so I'm trying to like get it all over before it runs down and the reason why I did this guys is because um while I'm spraying it out probably it wasn't getting an all, all section of my scalp so doing it like this I will get the rest of the scalp that wasn't um, saturated with it and when while um i was in the shower i decided i'm going to just you know what shampoo my hair with the rings in it i think that would be a good idea so i go ahead instead of rinsing it out i shampoo my hair with the rings in it this um will allow the rings to stay longer in my hair and help to penetrate my scalp better and preventing my hair from breaking off or shedding out like it would that block the DHT so I use the mild organic um, shampoo and that is their detangling shampoo the shampoo it stripped my hair very it made my hair clean it's not one of my favorite shampoo but I have no um i have nothing bad really to say about it it's made my hair feels really really clean but i don't know if it's a moisturizing shampoo but it does make my hair feel really really clean and it really cleans my scalp so i chose to use this one because i had like eco styler gel on my hair for the past couple of days so i really needed to be squeaky clean get rid of all that eco cellar gel and yeah guys I shampooed my hair for about um 
three minutes washing my hair so it was in my hair for about three minutes before i rinse it out and now i'm going to finish my hair off by adding some leave-in conditioner and the best place to add your leave-in conditioner guys and i learned this from one of my um favorite natural hair youtuber that i watch and she said that she always like add her leave-in in the shower and it really really does save time and it really really does make your hair feel much better when you get out of the shower this is so true so i add the leave-in in the shower and this was one of the best thing i have ever done in my natural hair journey and i'm going to continue to do this especially with this leave-in one of my favorite leave-in is from is the mild um organic leave-in it is super moisturizing soft make your hair feel really really nice so while i'm like rubbing my hair to make it um saturated onto the scalp onto my strands you can see how soft my hair was looking guys and my hair was not shedding out so guys now that i showed you how i applied this um this um combo that i made i am going to show you how i make it so guys you know i made the rice water differently and as i said i list the the video down below or in a tag for you to see so i i'm using three tea bags and that's the uh, you can use any green tea i'm using from the tesla brand and i'm adding some hot water to this so guys you're just like making your tea just like how you would normally make a tea right but now i'm using three tea bags because i have a lot of shedding going on so i decided to use three tea bags okay so you don't have to use three but i chose to use three and i'm covering it up because i always cover my tea up and i feel like it can it penetrate better if it um when it's covered up so what i do i leave it to sit for a good while until it's cool or uh, almost cool and then i um add the tea bags to the rice water and then i'm gonna pour the rest of the green tea to the rice water as well so when i add all of this i just basically cover it up and leave it there for a couple hours like i did this in the morning and i washed my hair in the after in the evening so it was there for about eight hours or ten hours just sitting there and yeah that's how i make it so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i see you guys in my next one